Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video. The series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything that is dropping in week one of Palace's Winter 2022 collection. Yes, guys, welcome back. It's that time of the week again. Time to cover Palace's latest week of their latest season. And well, quite obviously, in this video, we are going to be covering week one of their new season, their winter 2022 season, which, I mean, I covered the lookbook. There wasn't really anything in the lookbook that I saw that that popped that really got me excited for this season that doesn't necessarily mean the season's going to be bad it's just um yeah it's just, just that to kick it off with that hasn't got me hyped up for it but i didn't check out the range maybe there are some pieces that weren't showcased in the lookbook that are going to be really cool maybe there's going to be really cool collabs this season i still have high hopes um we're going to see some very big heavy hitting pieces this week we're going to be seeing some of the big highlights of the season releasing in week one because palace obviously wants to draw that crowd for the big one release which is happening today um i've literally clocked off of work so i'm trying to get this video out to you as soon as possible but it is dropping today friday the 7th of the 10th 2022 or the 7th of october 2022 um there's further release details which we will cover shortly We'll then cover the individual pages of uh, pieces that are releasing in week one, according to Max Merch More, and we'll be using that Instagram post that they have posted to cover the whole week, essentially. Um, yeah, let's head on over there now, and we'll start covering the further release details for week one. Here we are at the Max Merch More Instagram post that we'll be using to cover week one, guys. Uh, if you guys want to Follow Max Merch More or check out this post. It'll be linked down in that description section below, like I always do. Uh, we'll quickly cover all the release details to do with week one, and then we'll dive into what I'm going to assume is the many, many pages that we're going to get in week one. Week one is the biggest week in a palace season, so there's always going to be the most dropping in this week. And obviously it's going to have some of the heavy hitters, because as I just mentioned before, it wants to grip those palace fans and get them hyped for this winter season. The lookbook failed to do that to me. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into it. Winter 2022, week one. Little, little ice emoji there, nice. Uh, releasing in stores and online, 11 a.m. British Standard Time for the normal online store, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the US online store. And it's releasing today, as I mentioned, the 7th of October, 2022. Estimated price list will be posted Thursday evening. So if we hover over Max Merch More's Instagram post, there is the huge post there with the estimated price list. So if you want to check out how much they are, or, or you know how much these pieces are going to be going for, head over to Max Merch More Instagrams, uh, Max uh, Max Merch's Max Merch More's Instagram, and then you can check out that post, and it'll all be there. Um, now that we've covered all the release details, oh, sorry, that's very rude of me. How can we forget about the lovely people in Japan and China? They get it tomorrow, the Saturday. Uh, they will get it on the 8th of October. Uh, Japan will get it in store and online 11 a.m. Japanese ten, uh, standard time. And China will get it 11 a.m. Chinese standard time on the WeChat store, which from memory, this is really testimony knowledge now, is palace underscore skateboards on WeChat. That's where you kind of lose me. I may be wrong on that one, but it is available on the WeChat store there. Um, yeah, now that we've covered all the release details, we can get into the seasonal pieces dropping. There's going to be a lot releasing in this week, guys. Let's kick it off. Let's check out page one. Okay, to kick it off with, we've got the M-Tech hooded jacket coming in an olive cheetah. <laughs> Such an odd color option. I've never heard that before. Olive cheetah. Uh, black. And red. Wow, this super washed out red just gets the color red, but with this green uh, cheetah camo, we get olive cheetah. I feel bad for my red fellas out there. I feel like we should, should have gotten a more descriptive red there, but okay. <laughs> uh, the silhouette itself, look, I wouldn't wear a jacket like this, but I can appreciate the jacket's design. I like its cool little trim around a lot of the panels. Uh, I like the overall shape of it. 
very winter jacket looks really cool uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are really feeling it I'm kind of bummed out about the other color options when I saw the red one in the lookbook I was kind of hoping palace would take this like super washed out kind of vibe and look to it with the other colors but I've gone with a very safe black an olive cheetah <sighs> I still think the red's the best color for that one. Moving on, satin varsity jacket. Really bummed out about this one. Um, I, you guys know I love my varsity jackets, but I love my very traditional varsity jackets. I love wool, torso, leather arms, nothing against huge patches, but when you start going down this like satin, nylon varsity jacket look, I'd rather lightweight jackets of this type of silhouette be bomber jackets like MA1s and whatnot. I think satin varsity jackets, you, you really gotta persuade me on it to go with it because I just think, you know, it like zip up hoodies where I think pull, if it was a pullover, it would look better. Same goes with this varsity jacket. I'm sure it would probably have looked better if it was wool and leather instead of the satin one. So not really feeling any of the colors of that at all. Kind of a shame. Moving on to the Cordura RS zip-off jacket. It comes in a gray, and as we can see here, it comes in a green and black. This was showcased in the lookbook. Um, I actually really like the gray color. The black is okay, the, the olive is okay, but I don't know, something about that gray is, is, is really hidden for me. It's a nice util utilitarian jacket, lots and lots of pockets, more pockets than things that you can hold. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people that are really keen on that one. That's a solid piece. That's a cool piece. And the color options are really nice as well. I have nothing against the olive or black, but yeah, something about that gray. Anyway, moving on, we have the Cable Patchwork Knit coming in a multicolor, a mint, and a navy. I I'm actually surprised by the color offerings. I actually like the single color offerings more because you don't get these like weird wacky color, you know, bits here. It's mainly focused on texture when it comes to just the single color options. Kind of a shame it has a huge triferg that contrasts on the mint one, but I like that it complements the navy one. I actually think the navy one's the best color of that knit because of that. Uh, the texture detailing is cool. The patchwork, uh, well, sorry, the patch uh, triferg works well with the color of the knit itself. Yeah, I think the navy one's the best one for that one. Moving on, we have the slant zip shell jacket coming in a gray, blue, and black. Um, yeah, solid color options, slanted palace logo, pretty simple jacket, but nice little piece there. That is everything releasing on page one. I think my favorite piece from page one, probably gonna go to the Cordura, um, Cordura RS zip off jacket. That thing's sick. That's an awesome little piece there. Um, but I'd love to hear how you feel about page one. We've got, <laughs> I don't even know how many pages left. How many is that? Well, I won't bother counting. We'll just move on to page two and see what we're getting there. Okay, to kick it off with on page two, we have the Cordura RS shell cargos, solid. Solid cargoes, little bit of branding, solid color options. Thumbs up from me on that one. That's a sweet piece. I can definitely see a lot of you guys out there that love your cargoes. I could see you getting around something like this. Moving on, we have the Marine Zip Hood Knit uh, hoodie. Coming in a bone, navy, black. Love the color options. Love that it's a focus on texture when it comes to the different material choices being used. Love all the color options. That's a thumbs up from me. We get the slant shell bottoms to match the jackets that we saw before. They're okay. They're okay. I definitely think the cargoes are better, but they're okay. We got the cute zip hoodie. This item I thought was very dumb in the lookbook because it literally just cuts the bunny in half with the zip. It didn't need to be a zip up hoodie at all. Uh, yeah, no, not feeling it in the light blue, gray or black. You can miss me with that. Ah. Oh. A classic palace hoodie releasing that releases almost every season. We have the basically a hood in a white petrol. <laughs> oh, what a color, what a descriptive color. Petrol and lilac. Um, I think the white's my favorite out of those three, but <laughs> it's petrol. Jeez. Uh, favorite piece on page two. I think I gotta give it to the cargoes. I, I not something I would wear, but I definitely think it's a sweet piece. I can see a lot of the fellas getting around it. Ah, uh, yeah, the rest of page two is okay. Nothing too crazy there. But let's move on. Let's go check out page three. 
Stage three. Okay. Wow. Are we surprised that basically a hood makes another reappearance? <laughs> Into very classic colors though, like navy, gray, black. Very nice. If you just want a simple palace hoodie where the branding is on the left breast and on the hood, it's a very solid piece to go with there for sure. Moving on down, we have the Swill tri -ferg hood coming in a couple color options there. I don't have anything against that. I actually like the color choices and the overall design that they've put inside of that tri -ferg. No beef there. It's just that I'm not too interested in huge tri -ferg hoodies these days. Comes in a navy, baby blue, green, uh, gray, and black. Oh, and white. So solid color options there. Next, we've got the cute joggers coming in a light blue, a gray, and a black. You can miss me with that. And then we've got the basically a joggers coming in <laughs> a petrol, a lilac, and a white. And they're probably going to come in a navy, black, and gray in the net and on page four. We'll place bets. We'll place bets. But uh, yeah, there we go. Page three. Uh, I would say my favorite item is just going to be the basically a hood. Solid little hoodie. Nice little piece there. I'd love to hear your thoughts on page three though, guys. We play some bets, do we reckon? Do we reckon it's gonna be the, basically a joggers in the other three colors on page four? Let's go find out. Oh! <laughs> Count it. There we go. Not that it was a big thing, but black, gray, navy, basically a joggers. Basic sweatpants if you want them. Next, we've got the plain cord belter blue. These are actually kind of cool. That's kind of sick. I hope there's minimal branding on the back, but it comes in a nice blue, a nice stone, and a nice black. Solid. Solid. Yeah, I, I like that. That's cool. Moving on, we have the quarter zip cotton, uh, zip cotton panel hood. I actually like this too. This is a cool approach. Uh, it would be an awesome layering piece to chuck under, um, yeah, just some solid jackets and whatnot. But yeah, it comes in an olive, a navy, a black, and well, that's it. Yeah, those, those are some very solid color options. I actually kind of would have liked it without the branding. Miss me with the palace branding on the chest and on the uh, on the hood, but still a pretty solid piece. Still a pretty solid piece. Next, we move into the palace established zip funnel coming in a navy, a gray, and a lilac. I don't like the old English. Well, it's not even really old English, but like that kind of font style. Nah. I'm all right on that one. We'll miss, miss me with that one there. Uh, moving on, we have the two-tone arch crew neck coming in a black and gray, green and mole, navy and red. I actually like the very retro late 90s looking uh, logo that's been arced over the chest there. Kind of wish the color options were a little bit better though, like black and brown, green and white and red and navy. Kind of wish we went some, with some better ones here. Uh, ones that complement a little bit more, but... Um, yeah, I like the design. The design of it's nice. Uh, yeah, I would say that my favorite piece on page four, I'm actually probably gonna go to the plain cord belters. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a nice little piece there. A nice little piece. But uh, yeah, that is page four, guys. Let's move on to page five. And on page five, we have the cargo cord shirt coming in a blue, stone, and black. I don't mind this one. No real negative thoughts about it. Okay, pockets on it. No stress. I kind of like how they've given us one big pocket, then two smaller ones here. It's all right. Next, we've got the Palace London Knitted Polo. I was I was struggling to think of what this silhouette is in the lookbook, but yeah, that's that summed it up pretty well. Palace London Knitted Polo Purple. Well, coming in a purple. I think it's nasty though. <laughs> it looks so nasty. No. No on the black, no on the, on the polo blue. Okay, moving on. I actually quite like this piece. Would still make some adjustments to it. We've got the Varsity Applique Crew Neck coming in a gray mole, a navy, a green, and a black. Reminds me very much of the Ralph Lauren knits that, um, and knits and crew necks that they've done. Very much reminds me of the simple, like mid 20th century Varsity stuff and like the, in the 60s and the 50s, stuff like that. You know, something to represent your university and whatnot. I love that stuff. Absolutely love that stuff. Um, kind of wish they removed the little embroidered palace logo above the P there and just kept the P as is. That's all you need. I, I don't know why they're so, you know, logo crazy these days. But um, yeah, 
I like it in the gray. The navy's okay. The black and purple's kind of cool. But I also like the green. The green and orange is kind of nice as well. Yes, solid color options there. Would still make some slight alterations removing the extra logo, but yeah, all in all, pretty happy with it. We've got the Lurex Polo coming in a silver, pink, and black. Nah. <laughs> Just nah. I'm all right. Uh, we've got the Stoner Stripe Long Sleeve coming in a white, green, and black. I actually think this is really nice. I really like it in the white. Uh, the green isn't too bad. I'm not a huge fan of the mint and black though, but yeah, I like this long sleeve. I think it was showcased in the lookbook. Solid, solid little one there. But uh, yeah, that's everything releasing in page five, guys. I think my favorite piece from page five is going to be the Varsity Applique uh, Crew in uh, maybe the gray. Yeah, maybe the gray, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on page five. Let's move on now to page six. All right, page six, we have the Nine Fuss t-shirt. Little graphic t-shirt, upside down, weirdly placed palace logo to make a triferg. It's okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big triferg tea guy. Comes in a yellow, purple, pink, green, gray, navy, and white, and a black eight colors eh. we got the so far t-shirt real tree <laughs> camo like this woodland camo as well it's like that hunting camo or i think some i saw someone post sometime that this is that racist camo <laughs> and like you know it just like the demographic it's yeah it's Man, just stick to the normal so far ones. I like the purple, the olive, the navy, the gray, the black, the white. Let's stick to those ones. The woodland camo. I'm all right. I could go to the local hunting shop and buy the exact same thing. Miss me with that. And last but not least, we have the Ard as Vark Palace E. <laughs> it's a strange T. We're getting into the strange T territory. We're on page six. We've got four more pages to go. We're in the strange section of uh, week one. I don't even know what to put my favorite item is this week uh, for like page six. Uh, the so far T, I suppose, in like a black or a white, because I'd wear that, but like strange. Very, very strange. Um, that is page six, guys. Let's go check out page seven. <laughs> oh no, we've gotten into it. We're into the into the into the weird palace tea section now. Oh boy. We got the Ardas Vark tea uh coming in a green, white, and black. Strange. We've got the AOK t-shirt coming in a white, yellow, gray, green, pink, black. <laughs> it's just so odd. We've got the fruity t-shirt, a little drink on the front of the tea. I can get around that one. That one I can get around. Not in a pink, not in a purple, maybe in a gray, not so much green, but in the black or the white. Yeah, I can, as long as there's no huge logo on the back, I can get around that. Uh, next, we got the Varsity Chenille six panel in the orange. I actually like this cap, but there are other colors of it that I think are way better, but I do like the cap better than the varsity jacket we'll get into that when we get into page eight uh, maybe even nine then ten but on page seven i'd have to say my favorite piece is going to be the fruity t-shirt just nice little drink graphic on the front of it get it big enough nice little oversized fit i could see it but yeah that is uh page seven guys let's move into page eight we're now moving into the hat section we've got the varsity chenille six panel in a white black I like the white. I like the colors of it. It, work, it would work well with my uh, um, my wardrobe. We've got a P6 panel in a camo, gray, pink, white, navy, black. They're okay. Fleeced runner in a yellow, gray, and black. I think that's a nice little fleece cap there. I think it's a nice silhouette to definitely do in fleece. Well done there. We got the P statue New Era 59 in uh, 5950, sorry, in a purple. It's a statue holding the Palace P. Um, very simple graphics on that one. Kind of cool. Comes in a navy and black as well. We got the, uh, I don't even, is it grid? Grid fleece reversible ear flap hat in a white and black. You can miss me with that. I hate stuff with ear flaps on it, man. It's just, it's not my look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think my favorite hat from page eight, is it? Eight, nine, ten, yep. Page eight is gonna be, yeah, the varsity one. Yeah, 
Nice little logos, chenille patches, can't go wrong with that. Yeah, solid little hat there. Uh, that is everything on page eight though, guys. Let's move into page nine. Ooh, actually, that's a really solid hat to start off page nine with. <laughs> we got the duck denim bucket hat. I'm a fan of that. Black, white, stone wash. I like it in the white denim, but that's a solid hat to kick it off with. We've then got the Peace Statue New Era beanie coming in a purple, brown, and black. It's okay. We've got the Gassed Scarf featuring various different like petrol and gas um, station uh, logos on a scarf. I like, I like to see Palace doing more scarves. This is good, but this scarf is uh, not so good. I just like, when are you going to wear something like that, you know? Yeah, miss me on that one. Maybe car enthusiasts could be into that, actually. Uh, we've got the repeat uh, palace ring in gold. I actually like to see palace doing things like this. Rings. I can't remember the last time palace did a ring. That's cool. Um, I'll have to see what sizes and how much it comes in and what kind of gold it is. Because that's got... But gold's not really my color. I'm more of a silver guy. Yeah, if only they did a silver one. Anyway, moving on. We've got the palace Gilbert rugby ball in white. Got the Palace Shop Umbrella in black. That would be so handy today because it bucketed down. It was pouring today in uh, spring. Crazy. We're going to have a very wet, wet spring summer in Australia. That would be very handy. We got the Palace Time Slice Slip Mats in a multi. We got the Palace Blunt Ceramic Ashtray. Very nice. We got the Palace Fridge Magnet Set in uh, the various different ones there. We got the Zoot Saver in orange green and black i'd have to say from all these accessories and hats and everything i definitely think the denim duck hat is my favorite on page nine there that is a uh, awesome little piece there uh that is the second final page though guys let's move into the final one now and see what the last few pieces are okay and we got a little boxer key ring here in the blue we've got the rory pro 3 uh, s31 8.06 We've got the wax, the uh, board wax, and we've got the sticker pack for all the motifs that are featuring this season. And that is it, guys. Wow. Oh, I mean, jeez, that took forever. But week one is always like this. There's always so much releasing in week one. Lots and lots of pieces. Um, yeah, I think there's a little bit here for everyone. There's some cool jackets releasing this week. Cool knits. Cool hoodies. Um, some, uh, some cool crewnecks as well. There's just little cool pieces in every single section, I would say, but also some junk as well. There's definitely some junk chucked in here, but I feel like, yeah, as mentioned, there is definitely a piece for everyone in page in week one. Um, now that we've covered everything releasing in week one, guys, how do you feel about it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, are you looking to pick up anything from week one? Let me know down in that comment section below. Well, that's it guys. We covered everything to do with week one of Palace's Winter 2022 collection. We covered the release details. It's releasing today, the 7th of October, 2022 for most of the world. And then a day later on the 8th for Japan and China. Uh, we covered all the individual pieces releasing throughout the week. And we covered my thoughts and opinions on the week as a whole. It's, I mean, it's not the most exciting week one I've ever seen. It's got some heavy hitting pieces in it. But I recently just bought a Supreme piece, which I alluded to very late on, late in the drop list video for Supreme's most recent week. So if you stuck around for right at the end of that video and stuck around now, you know about it. So I can't spend any money moving forward for the next weeks or uh, next couple of weeks because I bought that Supreme piece. But uh, hopefully that'll be uh, coming over from Japan sometime soon. Till then, though. Um, I, I hope you guys are able to pick up any pieces that you're after this week, but what are you after this week? Are you a fan of the tees, fan of the jackets, fan of... A lot of the utilitarian jackets are really cool this week. Let me know what you're going to be picking up from week one down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want to keep covering upcoming Palace weeks, collabs, seasons, all that good stuff, you got to give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the last one, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Now, as mentioned in previous uploads, we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3, 4, 60, 3,460 subs. Uh, we are very close, very, very close. Hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach 3460 
before the end of October. But that's everything I got to say about week one, guys. I wish you the best of luck if you are going for something this week. I hope you managed to pick it up in the size and color you are after. But until the next Palace video, until the next Drop List video, until the next Streetwear Talk video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.